everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 4975 and today we're going to be customizing one of the brand new planes. I can't actually remember the name of this thing so let me just hop into it real quick. Um, but it is the brand new plane that we got in the Cayo Perico heist. There it is. The RO86 Al Alcatruck. I don't know how you say the second word, but yeah. It's basically the new plane we got in the Cayo Perico heist, and I've got it here in the hangar. Now, just to note, you do have to own the hangar to be able to customize this thing, but look at the size of it. It is absolutely massive. Now, just to, uh, to make you aware how massive this thing is, well, you can see that it expands the entire length and size of the hangar I'm walking around it here and it's a long walk around this thing but it does have afterburners on here which look absolutely fantastic um, and this thing is classed as an extra large vehicle so um, in case you're aware the uh, Volatile which is based on the Vulcan bomber in this game is classed as a large vehicle this thing is classed as extra large so it's a pretty big boy um, but it is pretty cool and there are some tuning parts for it so let's jump into the custom shop and see what we can do we've got armor we'll go ahead and fully upgrade that countermeasures we've got all the usual countermeasures nothing fancy in here so we got chaff flare and different smokes we'll just go for flares because they're the most useful I find um, engine upgrades we'll throw those on there bombs it comes with cluster bombs and it has a capacity of 50 bombs um, but we also have gas incendiary explosive and you can remove the bombs if you don't want them just gonna leave the cluster bombs on there because they're pretty good the handling we will go for race handling and then there is a few liveries for this so we've got the forest camo we got fall camo we've got naval camo okay that looks pretty weird um, we've got the uh, uh, night flight camo which is basically the naval camo but just in some different colors there we got naval camo 2 these look really weird we got the desert camo that also looks a bit strange I like that a bit more but still a bit weird we got the naval camo 3 and the forest camo 3 then we've got the urban flyer now that looks cool I like that a lot that looks really nice and then we've got the winged angel um, I do really like this but I'm not gonna go for it because um, yeah I'm not fully convinced uh, on the liveries there's not that many great liveries in there but we do have some paint options so we've got the primary paint option which is gonna change all of that and then we do have a secondary paint option what does that change uh, that apparently doesn't change anything okay um, well I'm gonna go in here matte and I'm gonna go with light gray or maybe dark gray or maybe the maybe that changes the color of the engines down there at the back Okay, I'm gonna go for light grey because I think that looks pretty nice. Does that now change the colour of that but no. Okay, I don't know what the secondary colour changes. Um but yeah, pretty nice vehicle. Let's take it outside and see how she flies. Right, we're lined up on the runway. This thing looks absolutely massive. I'm curious to see whether we can actually fold the wings. It's based on the American B1 bomber and also based off a Russian plane that I can't remember the name of. It's mainly based off the Russian plane, but it does have a few design cues from the B-1 bomber. And the B-1 bomber actually has folding wings. So you can see the wings there, they kind of, well, they stick out a bit more for takeoff, so that it has more, um, or so it's basically, so it's easier to take off. And then when it's in flight, they fold back, so it's a bit more aerodynamic, but we do have afterburners on this thing, which look absolutely awesome. And it's pretty loud as well. But there we go. We are airborne. This thing is pretty fast, I have to say. I mean, it's not as fast as like a jet. But 
for this size plane it is pretty massive and yeah that's another one of the features you can see in the top left there um, it will not appear on enemy radar or maps when flown at high altitude so when you reach a high enough altitude then you are invisible to everyone on the map so if you want to go off the map um, really easily then you can go ahead and fly this plane you've got to be flying at a high enough altitude so you can't fly like close to the ground you do have to be quite high um, but as you can see on my um, mini map when your icon starts flashing like mine is now that means you are off the radar and if we go down a little bit you should see it will stop flashing and that means we are now visible on the map so I don't know what the exact height is um, it just says fly at high altitude but we'll keep going up here until it does start flashing and there you go it has started flashing so you do have to be pretty high to be honest to go off the map but it is a cool feature and of course this this plane in real life is very very fast as well it does have the afterburners which look absolutely beautiful on this plane. Now, the only downside I'd have to say about this plane, number one, it takes up the whole hangar, so you can't display any of your other planes if you have this thing in the hangar, which is kind of a shame. And the other thing is the price. It is a very expensive plane, and what you get for the price is not very much, to be honest. You get a massive plane, this thing doesn't have any weapons on it except for the bombs um, but like the volatile bomber it doesn't have any uh, guns on the top which the volatile does have um, it has a gun on the nose on the back and on the top whereas this thing doesn't have anything it does have those countermeasure features and it does have bombs but apart from that it doesn't really have anything that special the wings don't appear to fold which is kind of a shame I thought that would be a really cool opportunity um, but sadly that isn't a thing um, but I mean it's a cool looking plane if you've got the money to spend on it then I can definitely recommend it if you're a bit strapped for cash then I would avoid this plane if you're looking for a massive plane to fly around the volatile is better it has more features and in my opinion it does look better but that's my review of the brand new RA-086 R I apologize that I can't remember the name correctly let me know in the comment section down below what you think of this plane are you going to be buying it are you going to be staying away from it but that's going to do it for this video thanks all so much for watching I hope you did enjoy and I'll see you all in the next one